Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. In this video here, I'm going to show you how you test resistance of your black and red wire for your charging station harness and your low voltage cable at the same time. So you can test two of them at once, kill two birds with one stone, right? Um, makes, a, makes the process a little bit easier. Uh, the reason for that is because you have the pins here in this end of the low voltage cable where it connects to the transformer So they're easy to get in there and get a probe on there uh, Here if you use this if you use this connection right here That red and the black wire that is what your low voltage cable is plugging into So it's easier to stick the probe in there than using paper clips and all that stuff in the other end of the low voltage cable so this plug here on your 400 500 series all-wheel drives. It's the one right here in the bottom It's the main plug with your your positive and negative coming in, your boundary wires, guide wires, all that stuff going back out there. On your 300 series and 415X, that plug will be over here. Same method of testing for, for both of them. It doesn't matter that's a different uh, configuration or anything like that. Your main goal is just to make sure that there's a, a consistent, uh, steady path from this end of the low voltage cable all the way through here so that you know you're not losing any voltage or anything through any of this going into your charging station circuit board. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our multimeter, we're going to set it to the ohm scale down here to 200, we're going to take our probes, touch them together to get a baseline of what a good solid connection should be, and we should have one ohm or less, what happened here, there we go. Yeah, 0 0.8, that's usually where this thing's at. So we're going to put uh, one probe into either the black wire or the red wire connection. It doesn't matter which probe you use because we're checking continuity, not voltage. So we'll put one in here and then we'll go to the pin in the low voltage cable. Corresponds with that. And there we are. One ohm. We should be at one ohm or less and we are right there on it. So now we'll switch over to the other one. Go with the red wire and the other pin here in the connector for a low voltage cable and we are right there at one ohm so we know we've got a good solid circuit the whole way through from from the transformer end of the low voltage cable all the way through to where this plugs into our charging station uh, circuit board so if we don't have enough power coming out of the back of our charging station now we know that either there's not enough power being put into here through the transform or from the transformer or our circuit board is what is causing the problem not letting enough of it go back out through so now that we know that all this is good we would go back to the transformer just double check it make sure it's putting out the 28 volts like it should and then we know that our circuit board is bad if we go to our transformer and it's not putting out the 28 volts, obviously we know it's the problem. So again, it's just a good easy way to test these two components. If you had a problem there where one of your wires was showing bad and one of them was showing good, which I can show you that, bear with me just a second. So here's a low voltage cable that I know we had a problem with. So we'll do the same thing again. We're going to go touch our probes together. See what we get for a baseline, 0.8. So we're going to come here to our connection, put one probe in there, go to the pins in our low voltage cable, and there we have one ohm, so we're good on that side. We move to the other side, come on, move over there with me, and we go to this other side. And we have nothing. We have a one meaning it's infinite there's no continuity that's because the one side of this low voltage cable wire is bad now because we know that there's a, an issue we would go we could test the components individually and um, you do a visual inspection of the low voltage cable which this one here if you do that you can see that it's it's got corrosion right there it's got nicks in it that's why it's bad here's a spot where it's cut so it wasn't too hard to figure that one out but what I would recommend to make it even easier is you can just unplug the low voltage cable and then just test from here to the back side uh, where your low voltage cable plugs in and let me move this over here and you should have you should have one ohm or less on each of these Oop, got 
find the right one. So there we go, we're at one ohm. And now if we move over to the other one, again, we're at one ohm. So process of elimination, we know that our charging station harness is good, which would mean that out of the two of them, our low voltage cable is the problem. And that's why we recommend doing that because it just makes it easier. If you can test the two things at one time and shows both of them are good, great. If not, unplug it, just check this. All right, my low voltage cable has got to be the problem. Do a visual inspection. You can go back to it and test it individually if you want, but you've already kind of ruled it out knowing that this is good and that was the only other component into it. So that's it. That's why we recommend doing it that way. Makes it easier, makes it simpler. Uh, you don't have to use paper clips or anything like that pretty easy process. If you need a new low voltage cable, a circuit board, uh, uh, internal harness for your charging station, or any other automower parts, or automower, or an automower accessory, you know where to reach us, www.roboticmowerservices.com. You can't find what you're looking for there. Uh, you can contact us through the website. You can shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. That's going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.